Skadoosh, skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel of my ninjas out there, Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming, and we're gonna crack open this gorgeous, gorgeous Ravnica Allegiance booster box. The excitement is real. It is geared up to be a pretty solid set. Some people might say it is quite underwhelming. Some people might argue it is phenomenal. I say I'm gonna give this set out of 10. I'll give it a 6.5. 6.5, that, that's what I'm giving this set. Big shout out to Brian Kuhn, Ronald Dowling, Sebastian Saylor, 17 Silla, Christian Cartier, Arn Eigel, Cody Carpenter, John Higby, William Carter, and Eric Fearman. Those are the super ninjas that support this channel and make content like this possible. Thank you very much for the support. Without any more crap, let's get up into this business. We're gonna start out, I'll just go through the comments a couple times and then we'll just skip right through and get to the good stuff only. So uh, yeah, it is finally here, it has arrived. We, uh, we, 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 we are going balls deep, man. I'm telling you, we are going balls deep. Orzov, if you're doing pre-release kits, if you're cracking open the pre-release, Orzov. And Electro Dominance for that ass! Oh, best card, best card. Best card in the whole set, change my mind. Change my mind, Electro Dominance, period. End of story, best card in the set. Uh, when you're able to just throw down some instant or like any card from your hand like an instant That's instantly a good card in my book. That's 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 it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. It's instantly a good card Really really powerful really OP Really OP Electro dominance geared up to be huge man. I'm loving it uh, What else who's on the back of this? I don't know who they are John and Rich. All right, cool. Uh, applied Root Snare. So they got another one of those prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Root Snare is back again to make those annoying decks. Uh, yep, they, yep, yep, yep. And raise four Balkers. All right, not bad. And when I say annoying decks, I do mean the decks of Nexus of Fate, which I'll be putting together pretty soon here. We'll make another Nexus of Fate deck just to upset everyone. Uh, and have some fun. It's, it's for the memes, basically, guys. We just, we just troll people for the memes, you know. Unbreakable for bulk. Not bad. And a, Oh, we got our first foil. That's a solid hit. Uh, this card, I, I can see going up in value. I, if it was a three drop, I think it'd be a little better. A little better off. But being that it's a four drop, uh, it's, it's a bit slow. But I guess, if it, eh, I don't know. It's hard to say. A lot of enchantments. There's going to be enchantment decks coming out. Uh, I'd like to be one of them to make an enchantment deck. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, what unique kind of deck are you guys planning on putting together? That uh, hasn't been talked about much. Tasa, I wanted you, gorgeous. You are my baby. I just love you, sugar. I do love you. You are just amazing to look at. Um, probably one of my favorite cards in this set is probably Tasa. Just saying. Uh, Tasa's got to be one of my favorites. Definitely, H hands down. Uh, ethereal Absolution. Ethereal Absolution. Really cool card. If you don't know about this one, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one. And then for four, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. If it was a creature card, you create a one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. Over the course of time, I can see this card going up in value. I think I think right now it's one of the cheaper ones, maybe like a dollar. But I think by the time uh, this set rotates out, and I know it sounds crazy, the card will probably be five bucks. So think about it. It could be more though, and it's it's really going to branch out in other formats and what have you. Scargon Hellkite. This card I was not too thrilled about, but really that ability in combination with one of the other cards, the Biogenic guy or the Mutants, whatever his name is, those two together are stupid good. It's kind of like throwing that Wizard's, um, is it Wizard Retort or Wizard Adept, something Adept, um, using that card in combination just to cast instant spells for one uh, gets a little crazy and out of control when you throw those three guys together. So think about that. We got Rick's Mahdi Reveler, pretty solid hit. Um, we do have that Scargon Hellkite. So far this box has not been too bad. I must say this box has not been too bad at all. I think we're doing pretty good up to the races. But yeah, Orzov and also, uh, why can't I think of it right now? Gruel. Orzov and Gruel. If you're going into this uh, pre release weekend and you want to go with one of the best guilds, I suggest you get your butt there early or however they divvy them up. You want to go with Orzov or Gruel. Those are the two pre release kits that are going to just steamroll the competition. Period. End of story. Rakdos, Firewheeler. Uh, Termander, Blood Mist, and a Captive Bulk. Well, that's cool. Captive Bulk, you know, that's Cap we're going to call that Captain Planet. 
And really, that that's not good because I grew up loving Captain Planet, and um, I looked up to Captain Planet, you know, that green-faced Martian thing or whatever. Uh, and he was really strong. Mortify, wow, Mortify is uncommon. I didn't realize that. It's right to our creature or enchantment. I did not realize Mortify was uncommon. That's nuts. Um, and we got the Hallowed Fountain. All right, so we are off to the races, doing pretty good here. Why did I not? Mortify is uncommon. I didn't realize what. That's nuts. Thought it was a rare. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of something. Thinking of something else, right? I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Okay. The artist and the rampage of the clans. Cool. What a thirsting shade foil. Love my shades. Thirsting shade gets plus one plus one until end of turn. You can pump the sucker up with life link. Wow, that's pretty neat. That is a pretty neat card. As long as it doesn't die, I guess you'd be all right. But there's a lot of removal in this set. Definitely a lot of removal. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, I played in sealed last night. And let me tell you, I, I got my butt handed to me uh, twice back to back. It was, it was not good. The one, actually, the one, the first run would have been better, but Wi-Fi for some crazy reason I got disconnected and basically uh, pooped my pants. I was so upset. Uh, Drill bit foil, yes, that's a card I'm looking forward to. Uh, basically, like Thoughtseize, um, it, it, you know, but it's gonna be hard to do it turn one unless they use a shock land or something, you know. Uh, your opponent does. I'm not sure. Not exactly sure how it's going to work. How you're going to get that turn one win. I guess if they use their shock on your turn. Yeah. Something like that. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Arcway Angels. Pretty cool. The Caster. The Guild Mage. And the Growth Chamber Guardian. Solid card. Solid card. That is a good card right there. Uh, Persistent Petitioners. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what else we get from this set. We are up to the Haunt. Can we get a haunt card? We got the Hazada Officer. All right, that's something there. Let's see what else we can find up in this set here. Uh, no haunt yet. Didn't really pull nothing slick there yet. The Corsecrete Consume. Con Consecrate? Consecrate Consume, I see. Clear the stage. Rumbling Ruin. And we got the Thrash and Threat. Followed by ch -ch -ch -ch, a Thopter token out the back. Whoa! There it is, the Haunt of High Tower Skadoosh! Oh man, we got it! That is crazy. So we got a case hit that's not even possible to be pulled out of this box. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe it. Uh, if you want to win the Haunt of High Tower, simply be a patron. Uh, be a patron of the channel. I'm going to give this away to one lucky patron. Link in the description of every video. Appreciate my ninjas out there who do support the channel. Beautiful, gorgeous card. I can actually see this card possibly going up in price. It's very powerful. Haunt of High Tower. Impressive. Yes, guys, that was sleight of hand for all you crazy people out there who are like, Oh, my God, God, that's not even possible. Joey Moss is over here trolling us. Oh, my God. Shut up. God, lighten up. This channel's for fun, not for douchebags. Skadoosh bags. Shout out to all y'all. Defense, awaken the erstwhile. All right. Let's see what else. Spirit token out the back door. Wow, what a good box so far. What do we get? Two... Two mythics. You got two mythics so far. Two mythics. Enraged Ceratax. Sweet. Capture. And uh, repudiate replicate. Repudiate replicate? That's amazing. Not too, too shabby here. Let's step it up. I want to get some more colors that I like. And that's Orzov and Gruul. Plan to make some sweet kick butt decks this weekend. Hope you guys check them out. Don't forget to make sure you hit the like button on this video. It does help Davin Bane out a lot. Davin Bane. Uh, not Davin Bain, Davin Grand Arbiter. Uh, and a sweet token brew, man. He's going to be nasty sauce. We'll see how far it goes. We will see how far it goes. Nice hit, though. That is a nice hit. Uh, Davin, was that 12, 13 bucks upon pre release? I made videos of all the rares and all the mythic cards that were uh, the most expensive. And uh, yeah, he was up there. Will he keep, will he maintain that price point? Is another question. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Kaya's looking pretty sweet too, considering there are a lot of one drop, uh, not one drops exactly, but um, yeah, there really are. Um, you can take out tokens with Kaya as well. We got the old Tome of the Guild Pack, that's fun, with a Simic Guild Gate. Tome of the Guild Pack, whenever you cast a multicolored spell, draw a card, add one mana of any color. That could be good in the right brew, it certainly can. Rakdos Fire Wheeler, a pretty powerful card. Eyes everywhere, blamed, and the be bed evil. Guys, take notice. If she's taking you to bed, just remember, probably some evilness going on there. Mind your P's and Q's there. All right? That bed is evil, my friends. That bed is evil. 
Careful, man. Crazy things can happen on that bed. Pontiff, the old pitiless pontiff. Bankrupt in blood. Now, that's some crazy cool artwork right there. Some nasty stuff going on there. The drill bit again, and Benthic Biomancer. All right. Come on, let's pick it up a little bit. Actually, we have picked it up. This has been a solid opening. I don't think I have any 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 complaints at all, honestly. Honestly. Uh, the most powerful set, I'd say, throughout this entire uh, new set. But the most powerful set. The most powerful guild, Okay. Is, is hands down this right here, is Simic. Simic's going to be stupid sick. Simic's benefiting the most, uh, uh, definitely. Gruul as well, and Orzov, but I'd have to give it to Simic. I think those are going to be taking some top, uh, they're going to be some top place decks. And then your mono red, you know, aggro burn, got some big eight as well. That's going to be huge. Uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Be I love this card. Uh, it actually dropped in value recently. We'll see how that, uh, how that stands. Uh, but just sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You add two swamps and draw a card. I mean, in the right brew, that's going to be phenomenal. It really will be. We got to uh, depose and deploy. Rally to battle. Wall. Lumbering battlement, which can go infinite. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's a nice foil right there. Zerta Goblin. Pretty sweet. We are doing good in our foil slot. That's cool. We are doing good in our foil slot. These Ravnica packs, man. I like the color on them. The good old blue. They're looking pretty sharp, I must say. They're looking pretty sharp. Uh, we got Street Sharks there. Rumbling Ruin. And the Font of Agonies. One card you might want to keep an eye on. It could do something none of us expect. Right now, it's doing what we all expect. But it is one card that this could really take off. It's a one drop whenever you pay life. Put that many blood counters on Font of Agonies. For two, remove four blood counters from Font of Agony's destroyed target creature. Could do something nuts. Just saying. Right build, man. Streaming shield. Ooh, we did get the Hydroid Crasis. Really cool card. You can definitely close out a game with this in many ways. Nice hit. Oh, a double foil rare. Wow. Pestilence Spirit's pretty cool. Medicine Death Touch. Engine and Sorcery spells you control of Death Touch. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. This box has been on fire. Up in here. There's a Roddy up in here. Oh, how's that go from Step Brothers? If you want to lick on him. There's a, I can't remember. There's a, damn, why can't I think of it? Ah, I stink. Clamor Shaman. Deputy of Detention. Solid little hit there. Yeah, taking it, taking it, taking it, baby. Ah, pretty fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to just having a lot of fun with these cards, building some stupid decks. Uh, what's your guys' favorite card? What card do you not like in the set? <laughs> That's a good question. What card do you not like in the set? Uh, uh, Pregnative Perception. Mm, Pregnative. Pr pregnant? Oh, boy. Root Snare Foil. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. Upset some folks there. Yeah, what what card do you not like in the set? And I do expect the next is a Fate deck to see some top 10 action again for sure. Uh, it got some tricks, man. Watch out, guys. Pitiless Pontiff up in the piece. Flames. Tremurmur. And a Revival Revenge, another really cool uh, Rakdos engine for you. My the least favorite card. If I see it, I'll point it out. There is one. There is one card, but it's like, that card's stupid. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. Growth. Oh, that's a good card. Growth spir Spiral. Pretty good. Hacrobat. Rap. All right. Like stuff. Seraph of the Scales. Yes! Got the old angel. I do think it's a little underwhelming, though. They should have just given this thing Vigilance and Death Touch. Uh, it'd probably be a $20 card, but still, why not, Watsy? Why not? But having to pay for it, not bad, you know? You can give that sucker vigilance. And it, it, it's cool. And the Afterlife, too. It's a powerful card, but having three, the three toughness, I think, kind of made it like a little, a little eh, you know? I think it made it a little eh. Uh, Senate Guild Mage is cool. Regenesis. Blood Crypt. Shout out to Blood Crypt. Really cool card. I don't think I have enough Blood Crypts. I never have enough. Honestly, I think I'm up to about eight blood crypts now. Eight blood crypts. Patrons, start taking them, all right? Jesus Christ. Uh, Mortify, another one. Pretty sweet. Azorius. Plaza of Harmony, watch out for this card as well. With the gate builds, it could go insane. We're down just a few packs to crack here. This has been a pretty fun, uh, interesting opening. Uh, light up the stage. Yup, yup. Oh, an upside down card. What does that mean? Oh, craziness. Flip it around. Gateway Sneak, another upside down. Well, I guess we're back to the normal now. Tower Defense and a Rampage of the Clan. So I guess 
Something funny happened there. I'm not sure what funniness happened, but something funny happened. Anything wrong with these cards? Would be cool if there was. Nope, nothing wrong. We just get some normal stuff. What are you gonna do? The old quench might see some play. Could see some play. It will see some play for sure. The Basilica Bell Haunt. Basilica. Bankrupt. There we go. That's cool artwork on that. I think I like a throwback. Hero of Precinct 1. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1 1 white human creature token. Not bad, not bad. Two packs to crack. Uh, we pulled a Planeswalker. I'm happy about that. We didn't pull uh, the big dog, but we pulled the, the little mini dog. Frilled Mystic. And Breeding Pool. This has been a phenomenal opening. Uh, anyone would have been happy or pleased to have this box, I would tell you that. I am definitely one of those. Uh, Windstorm Drake, pretty neat. Davin's Acuity, Scrambling Claws. Emergency Powers closes out on a mythic. Last pack, Moss is back. How powerful will this card be? Yet to be determined, but wow, what a box. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you who views. Hits the like button and comment something. Talk to me, baby. Let me know how you feel about this set. As always, we'll see you later.